Quasi TV works too hard. That is a fact that I think everyone can agree on. So how about we try to help Quasi out? Over the last couple of months, I've seen a ton of videos about AI, AI images, AI animations, and I thought it was really cool. There's websites like Dolly, it's like certain Discord bots that do these uh, commands where you get an AI image after a little while, and I think that's super cool. So let's see how accurately AI can recreate shotgun farmers to see in the future if AI could ever take over the jobs of indie game developers. I know all this AI stuff is impressive, but something tells me that it is not going to happen for a very long time. Starting off with a very bad example, the shotgun. I mean, if you want to tell me where the shotgun is in these images, uh, be my guest. The bottom right one is probably the closest out of all of them. The handle is at the top, it's kind of a top-down view. The other ones are just like, vague, cylinder-shaped pieces of corn and like what is the bottom one it's like in a weaved like club I'm so confused I thought a prompt named shotgun made out of corn would have been easy but I guess I was wrong so that's point one for quasi TV next up we have the P Volver and uh eh? It's kind of mixed. The one on the top right is literally just a bowl of peas. The bottom right one is just the inner mechanism of a revolver. The top left one is just a pile of peas and then half a revolver, like, glued together with a couple of peas. It's... I, I don't know. The bottom left one is better. It's... I mean, I don't know what the tip of the revolver is, really. It looks like a pen, but it's like a gun with peas on it like a like a gun skin kind of it's not good <laughs> uh but it's better than the shotgun was we're going to give another point to quasi tv next up we have the crocky launcher and it might just give quasi a run for its money i really like these designs here um a couple of them are more missiles than an actual rocket launcher but the top ones are both just like really really cool like I don't know why the AI did such a good job with this one I'm pretty sure a crocket or sorry a rocket made out of carrots would be harder to do than a shotgun made out of corn but uh, I guess I'm not an AI so I wouldn't know AI did a super good job with this I'm going to have to give one point to the AI next up we have the pineapponade and this was by far what I expected to be the easiest one but AI disappoints me yet again. The prompt was pineapple grenade, obviously. And uh, the bottom right one was the only semi-good one. I would say that that is a completely fine portrayal of uh, an AI pineapple grenade with the bottom and the top. Um, but the rest of them just look like jars, like pineapple jars. And I would say that the bottom right one would look like one if it didn't have the little bottom part. Like the bottom left one, that's 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 like a that's like a urn. That's a pineapple urn. That is that is not a grenade. That is a point for quasi. Next up we have the AK-47. This is half good and half scary. The half good is pretty good. I mean this the bottom left one isn't really an AK-47, but it, it it is definitely a gun shape. It is completely made out of hay. And the bottom right one, it's like it has the core little area with the trigger is made out of like guns, but the rest of it is hay. That works. The top the the top ones are vague shadowy figures holding a gun. Like they're camouflaging. That's uh that's scary. But uh I mean that's a point for AI. Unsurprisingly, Quasi wins 3-2, to two, and the points that I gave to the AI weren't because theirs was better, they could just make vaguely what the prompt was. The ones that I think nailed it, pretty much nailed it, um, but it's not better, and I would still prefer the Shotgun Farmer's version anyway. In the future, in the far future, I don't think ever will we have 
robots making our video games, which is good. So let's think of it on a positive side. AI is is fun. If Quasi wants to put in a prompt like uh I don't know a grape pistol, he could get a concept that might not be exactly what he wants, but he can get an idea from it. He can get a vague image of what he wants. It's a cool tool, not something that would completely take over the industry. To prove my example, I came up with a AI depiction of Riverside. Let's say Quasi knew that he wanted to make a map with a river going down it, and he wanted to make a grain factory thing with a water wheel. Okay, you kind of have something there, but it's not a lot to go off of. And you can't really visualize it. So let me put it into an AI prompt, and you get this. Obviously, this isn't great. I think the bottom right, I think just the bottom ones are the best ones. But it's something to visualize, and you can come up with more ideas looking at it than just having, I want a map with a river in it. But I guarantee you, if Quasi put in uh, a beat gun into an AI prompt, and then told his concept artist to come up with a beat gun, the concept artist would win any day of the fucking week. Enough about stupid industry standards and AI and whatever I was just talking about. Let's get on to me, because I love talking about myself. I wanted to see if they could make my shotgun farmer's avatar into an AI picture. So for the prompt, I put cartoon horse wearing, I've just said a red tuxedo, because what would I, what would I put? Like a devil outfit? I mean, maybe, I don't know. Red tuxedo with cartoon devil wings. That's the prompt, and it gave me this. Um, I really like the bottom right one. Um, the bottom left one, too. The bottom ones are cool. The top left one is, like, minimalistic, but it looks like a hippo. And the top right one is, uh, just kind of, like a... Like a donkey with like, it's it's a zebra with red instead of white. It's just, it's just weird. Unfortunately, I could not make an East Side concept with this AI because if I put in Shotgun Farmer City Map, the AI does not know what Shotgun Farmers is. And if I just put in City, uh, I could literally just look up a picture of a city and say this is the cuts. It's just dumb and stupid. So I put in Statue of Liberty as a pig, which is part of my concept, Statue of Piggerty. And I got this. Um, as, yeah, I can see it. The top right one has little pig ears you can kind of see. I don't really understand what the top left one is, but the bottom right one is, uh, it's like a swirl. You can kind of see a pig. I think the swirl part is like its nose, and it has the big crown like over its face, which is cute. The bottom left one has a similar thing where the crown is covering the eyes, um, and it's just the nose sticking out. It kind of looks more like a capybara, though. Capybara, is that how you say it? It's actually cool. I'm glad uh, with how the AI did this. I used Mid Journey AI for this, which is you go into a Discord and you type in a prompt, which means, yes, typing in make a gun with an orange is public to everyone, but people are doing weird stuff in here, so, uh, yeah, dime a dozen. Thank you for watching this video. I was kind of tapped for ideas, so I'm sorry that I didn't post in a while. Um, I don't know. I The Halloween update is out. has the same stuff. The zombie, or the Foresight Horde didn't come out yet. It's coming out soon, I think. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, comment. I don't like you to keep and block me. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be in four months. Bye!